there's never been anybody to root with. I'm Sonny Lipton, I'm Jack Dempsey, there's no one like me. I'm from their club, there's no one that can match me. My name is Nassim The Dream. I'm a 15 year old amateur boxer, giving my views and opinions on everything boxing related. I'm here to give you guys consistent, reliable, unbiased commentary. Boxing is my passion, staying in is my hobby. Hope you enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. So, according to Boxing News 24, Shelly Finkel, manager of Deontay Wilder, says that Deontay Wilder's next fight will be agreed and announced next week. I'm definitely, that's definitely some positive news to hear. We've seen Deontay Wilder, um, he's been spotted with. Bolu Jack and Michael Hunter. I like the fact that he looks a lot slimmer than he did in the Tyson Fury 3 fight where I thought he came in too heavy at 238 pounds. You know, Deontay Wilder is more of a natural cruiserweight. You typically fights, you know, from uh, 209 to like in the 220s. I think that's a good weight for him. He's more um, quick on his feet and he has better stamina. At 238, his stamina was not that good. He's only able to last five or six rounds against Tyson Fury, a much bigger fighter. Um, I, I heard a lot of rumors that Robert Helene could potentially be the next opponent for Deontay Wilder, but that hasn't necessarily been confirmed. Though I think that is a good fight for Wilder. Um, Helene is coming off a win against Adam Kalinowski, absolutely destroying him, uh, beating him down. Adam Kalinowski got disqualified for hitting Robert Helene with low blows. Um, you know, Helene is control that fight using his jab. Um, and he had Kalinowski's eye completely swollen by the very first round, so he has a lot of power. But that being said, though, um, he's a lot slower than Deontay Wilder. His chin is also kind of questionable. I'm getting knocked out by Daryl Washington, somebody at Deontay Wilder would be knocked out also by Johan Dopp and somebody at Deontay Wilder also be. In those fights, he was competitive, but towards the end, he got knocked out with what? The big right hand, which is something that Deontay Wilder specializes in, as shown in the drop of Tyson Fury two times in the forefront with a right hand himself. And I think that um, Hellenius will put up a competitive fight most definitely. Um, he's going to do good for the first three or four rounds. But I think that Deontay Wilder's body work will eventually wear Hellenius down. I think that Hellenius gets knocked out in the sixth or seventh round. Like I said, I think it's going to be a competitive fight. Hellenius is going to land some really big one twos, um, going some left hooks to the head and to the body. But ultimately, I think that Wilder is much quicker than Hellenius and will be able to stay out of the danger zone of Hellenius. But Hellenius also has a puncher chance because he is a big puncher. You know, he has 31 wins and 20 knockouts, so Deontay Wilder has to be careful. I see this fight as a 60-40 fight. It's a dangerous fight for Wilder, definitely, but it's a very good opponent. Um, if that fight doesn't happen, I think it could also be against Charles Martin. That fight should have happened years ago. PBC fumbled a bag and said had Charles Martin fighting Anthony Joshua for the IBF title. Um, you know, Anthony Joshua knocked out Charles Martin in the first round. And Charles Martin actually looked pretty good in his last fight against Luis Ortiz. But Luis Ortiz caught him at the end, eventually knocked him out. Um, you know, had him look into the crowd <laughs> ridiculously. That's one of those fights. Um, possibly Dillian White. You know, Dillian White loves to suck a lot of trash. Say he wants to fight Deontay Wilder. I love to see that fight, you know. Uh, finally, see Dillian White get knocked out for the final time, possibly. Because I'm tired of Dillian White. He got knocked out by a four-year-old Alexander Pervekin, Tyson Fury, and Anthony Joshua. You know, and this dude, he's just a clown, man. He's just more of a um, pawn used by Eddie Hearn to try to block Anthony Joshua from fighting Deontay Wilder. But ultimately, I'm happy to see Wilder coming back. He's looking leaner in shape. Um, you know, you see, it brings excitement to the sport of boxing itself, and especially to the heavyweight division. Um, the heavyweight division has been kind of lackluster, you know, Tyson Fury versus Dillian White. But it's really, really boring um, to me and a lot of other people you know, until the knockout happened. And that's really been really good to fight between, besides the Charles Martin fight versus OCC, that was a competitive fight, but that was really it. Um, you could see the Charles Pulev fight, but then again, those are two fighters past their prime going at it, so it's not really a high level stakes fight. But ultimately, I can't wait to see Deontay Wilder come back in the ring. Um, he's been through a lot, you know, through the cheating of Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury having a 50-pound weight advantage. A lot of people seem to, uh, you know, want to, don't want to acknowledge the fact that Tyson Fury has a test positive for PEDs and got away with it. Um, you know, floppy gloves and all types of other things. But ultimately, hope that Deontay Wilder's recovered from the damage they took in third fight. Um, you know, like I said, he put up a competitive fight. But I want to see Deontay Wilder return. He could possibly fight Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Uzik winner. I think it's a good fight for him. I think he even knocks out both of them. Um, Alexander Uzik is way too small in my opinion. And Anthony Joshua, you know, this dude, he just get out here getting hit, hurt by a former cruiserweight Alexander Uzik. So I can see him win those fights. But ultimately, like I said, I'm hoping that it could be the Hellenius Charles Martin or some, some other fighter possibly. The winner of Louis Ortiz versus Andy Ruiz. Those are all good fights for Wilder. But, like I said, Wilder is the moneymaker in the heavyweight division. But to wrap this up, this is Nassim the Dream. 
Rocky his head, his next head to sleep. I'll show another one. Peace. Um, squad!